This video will show you how to use your task list in Google Calendar. First thing you want to do is make sure that you navigate to calendar.google.com. I was already there and this would be what you would see. It would basically be your calendar. And if you go over to My Calendars, there is a task list by default, but sometimes we're not aware of that. So click on it to activate it and here it will be on the right and I've already started my list and so there's a few things that I want to point out here first of all this list is the work to do's list but here on the right you can navigate through multiple lists that you may have created or even create a new list so you can use that maybe to separate work from school or different classes from one another there's multiple ways to do that so when you're ready to add something you can click this plus sign here and it opens up a new space for you and let's say I wanted to work on my Spanish vocab. One of the nice things that you can do is then click this arrow and add some options. So for instance, let's say I wanted to make this due on Friday and I could also add some notes here. So for instance, chapter 3 pages 50 through 65 and then I had those details where I need them. And if I decided this was in the wrong list, maybe this isn't for work, I could click on one of these other lists that I had going on and it would move there instead. So there's multiple ways to go about that. I'll just put it back on this one so we can see them all together. Work to do is actually. And then clicking on back to list will show me all of my tasks in that particular list together. And if you click on actions, you'll see you have a few options here. So you can change where a t task will show up in your list. You can indent it if it is a part of a larger task. You can print it. You can sort it by due date, which is a good way to stay on top of things. So here it is Thursday. Here's something that's due on Friday. As I go through these, the nice thing is I can click it here. And oh, it feels so good to get that thing done. So that's a good way to think about it. Uh, you can delete something if you want to by selecting it and clicking delete task. And one of the nice things as well is if you look here on your calendar, now these tasks actually show up on the dates when I anticipated they would be due. So this is a good way to really keep track of things and when they are due.